Barry looking back. What's behind three? Let's have a look and see. A pair of legs. Let's see what's behind four now. Oh, look, there are some ears. And behind five, another pair of legs. And behind six, it's a face which belongs to Pedal the Pig from Big Barn Farm. <laughs> Hello there, great to see you again. Do you know you can make art out of almost anything? Yeah, it's true. In the past, I've made all sorts of creations from the most unlikely of objects. I once made a picture with my old socks. It was very pongy. And one time I even painted a fantastic picture onto a balloon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I, Mr Maker, will make art from... Cotton buds? That will be a challenge. But hang on, hang on. They're giving me an idea. Let's try something. Try making a crazy dancing skeleton made out of cotton buds. Let's make it. As well as some cotton buds, we'll need some other things from the doodle drawers. Come on. <laughs> a piece of coloured paper. <laughs> a glue stick. <laughs> and some scissors. Wow! Now, to make a cotton bud picture, like this one here, you need a pile of cotton buds. There we go. Very nice indeed. Now we need to get some more cotton buds and very carefully cut them in half. Now, be careful because scissors are sharp. Yeah. Now, take some more cotton buds and very carefully just cut the fluffy ends off them. Again, keep going until you've got enough fluffy ends to make a pile. Now, you should have a pile of the long cotton buds, the half cotton buds and the short fluffy ends. If you have, then you're ready to make your picture. This is the fun bit. Take a long cotton bud and glue it down in the centre of the paper. Now take two half buds and place one above the long cotton bud and one below it to make a long line. Now stick half buds either side of this long line. It's the skeleton's rib cage. Now, for each arm, you will need one, two, three long cotton buds, and one, two, three, four, five fluffy ends for the fingers. Arrange your skeleton's arms so they're waving in the air, and then stick them down. Now, to make this triangle shape under the rib cage here, we need one long cotton bud and two half buds. For his legs, you will need three long cotton buds. For his feet, you will need three half buds. And for his toes, you will need five fluffy ends. Do the other leg and stick them all down. Now, what's missing? Hmm. 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 
Don't worry, I know, it's his head. Yes, and for his head, let's use some half buds. And some fluffy ends for the mouth, nose and eyes, like this. And when you're happy with your skeleton's head, glue it all down into place. And there you have it, my new buddy. Get it? Buddy. <laughs> it's Bones the Skeleton. And you could try lots of other ideas too. How about a fantastic fish skeleton with lots of little fish bones? Or even this, a brilliant cotton bud boat. All works of art made from just glue and cotton buds. See, I told you we could do it. Oh, well done. Oh, thank you, Mr Skeleton. Shall we dance? Shake those bones, Mr Skeleton. Whoa, bye! What a mover! <laughs> Who's that snoring? Oh, it's the shapes. They're asleep again. Let's wake them up. Squares can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten squares. Well done, Square. Time to get back on the shelf. <laughs> 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 Those shapes are so funny. I'm glad we woke them up. Stop in here! Minute make time! Minute make time! It's minute make time! <laughs> yes, it's minute make time. And here's what we're going to make today. A pine cone creature. Look, it's a pine cone bird. Now, to make one of these, you will need a black pen, a glue stick, of course, a pine cone, some coloured card, some scissors, some feathers and some googly eyes that you can find in an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. I've got them. Right here are our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? Not a chance. Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock! Let's get our coloured paper and draw a bird's head with a long neck like that and also a beak. And let's cut these out very carefully with scissors. Now, remember, scissors are sharp, so you might want to ask an adult to help you with this bit. There we go, there's the beak. And let's cut out the head very carefully, all the way along and round and down the other side. There we go. Right, let's get some glue and stick the beak on. There it is. And now he needs some eyes. All right, come back here, you. That's it. There's one and there's two. Oh, there we go. Right, now we need the pine cone and hopefully that will stick in there, which it does. Now we need some feathers. Let's get some feathers stuck in. There we go, there's one in there. Ten one seconds. in there. Go on, in you go. One in there and one in there. 
And just about enough time for one more. There! Phew, that was close. But if you've got more than a minute, you can make other sorts of pine cone creatures. This one is made with a different coloured card and spotty feathers. Or how about this pine cone dog with a tail, neck and legs made out of pipe cleaners? <coughs> all right, all right, keep your cone on. Pine cone creatures made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Draw your bird's body and beak on two pieces of coloured paper. Then carefully cut them out. Stick the beak onto the body, add the googly eyes, and finally stick your head and the feathers into the pine cone to finish your pine cone creature. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? We're here, Mr. Maker. Oh, hello, everyone. Watch this. This should be fun. I wonder what they're up to. <laughs> I am black. I'm dark blue. I am grey. I am purple. Well done, everybody. See you next time. Now it's time to frame it. Frame it. Frame it. Now, take a look at this. This fantastic underwater picture is made using cardboard and paint, and it looks so good, you'll be able to frame it. You will need coloured paint, cardboard strips, coloured paper, glue, a white sticker, a black pen and some scissors. Start by squirting two yellow blobs of paint at the bottom of the paper like this. Then dip the cardboard in the paint and drag it along the paper, making wavy patterns. This is going to make the sand. Now do the same again with another piece of cardboard and blue and white paint. This is going to be the sea. Let the white and blue colours mix together. This is all part of the effect. How about some seaweed? Squirt four blobs of green paint on top of the yellow sand like this. Now dip the cardboard in the green paint and drag it upwards in a wavy, weedy pattern. Squirt a blob of light green paint in the middle, but this time use the edge of the cardboard to make spiky seaweed. Now, whilst your picture is drying, draw a fish shape on coloured paper. Add some details with a black pen and a white sticker for an eye. Then carefully cut out your fish and glue it in position. An underwater sea picture and you don't even need a paintbrush. What a great way of making a really clever picture. Now all that's left to do is... Frame it! I like making pictures out of all sorts of things, so... Let's make a picture out of licorice sweets. What's it going to be? Can you guess? It's a fantastic zebra. Look at this old chest. <sighs> I found it up in my attic, and it's got lots of good stuff in here for my doodle drawers. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, there's some bits of felt here. That's good. What else have we got? Oh, some buttons. Fantastic. And what else? Oh, hang on, what's this? Wow, it looks like an old scroll. Shall I open it? OK, here we go. <gasps> look at this. It's a treasure map. And it looks like there's some writing in the corner there. Let's read it. 
Walk now, ye pirate, across the floor. X marks the spot in the doodle drawer. Wow, I better do what it says. I might find some treasure. <laughs> well, here we are. Here are the doodle drawers and... Look! X marks the spot. This must be the place. Right, let's have a look inside. Oh, I can see something shiny. I think it's the treasure. <laughs> it's, it's, it's... Some tin foil. Oh, well, let's have a look anyway. There's another clue. Let's read it. To find ye the treasure, just one thing is clear. You'll need all this tin foil for your great idea. Great idea? What great idea? Hang on a minute. I am having a great idea. Let's make something. Make fantastic tin foil treasure that you'll want to keep forever. As well as some tin foil, we'll need some other things from the doodle drawers. <laughs> A paper plate. <laughs> some shiny wrappers. <laughs> and some gloopy PVA glue. Phew! <laughs> Whoa! Now, to make your tin foil treasure like this, you need to take a paper plate and cover it with gloopy glue. And then a big piece of tin foil. Make sure you cover both sides. Then twist a big piece of foil into a long, thin sausage shape like this. Then twist it into a curly shape. There, that's looking good. Now we can use a smaller piece of tin foil and make a ring. You can make as many as you like. Now glue your foil pieces onto your plate. Then, to make your treasure look even more precious, get some shiny foil wrappers and fold or scrunch them into little squares or balls. <laughs> now, let's place our shiny pieces onto our plate. How about a big one in the middle here? and then some smaller ones around the outside. And how about some bigger ones in the middle of these curly bits? And when you're happy with the position of all your shiny pieces, you can glue them down. And when it's dry, it looks like terrific tinfoil treasure. And you can turn anything you like into treasure. How about a gorgeous goblet made out of a plastic beaker? Or even a big treasure box. This one's got an old ice cream tub inside it. And you can make as much treasure as you like. Ooh, fantastic! So I did find my treasure after all. <laughs> There's another clue. <gasps> You'll sail the high seas, all bumpy and rocky, but come home to clear up if called back by Toki. Time to go! Time to go! My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put all this stuff back in its box! If you like making things like Mr Maker, Visit bbc.co.uk forward slash cbbs for more ideas. What can you do with your old cardboard? You'll need a recycling box and some cardboard. Number one. All sorts of things come in cardboard containers. Cereal. Milk,
and juice. But what do you do with all the empty containers? Number two. First, separate any plastic from the cardboard. These can all go into the plastic recycling box. Number three. Make sure all your cardboard is nice and clean. Number four. Time to reduce your cardboard by squashing it as flat as you can so it takes up less room in the recycling bins. Which means fewer trips for the recycling lorries. I'm splashing my foot. Squish, squish, squish. Flat, flat, flat. Number five. Now your cardboard is ready to be recycled. I wonder what it will be turned into. Maybe some more milk or juice cartons, a washing powder box, or a brand new pasta box, or even some new cardboard tubes. That's what you can do with your old cardboard. Thanks, guys. This is round one. Fingers on buzzers. Who is this? Charles. He's my mum. Henrietta Peck. It's a dustbin. Charles Cheese. Justin, it's Justin. Correct. One point to you, Charles Cheese. Now it's on to round two, no conferring. Where is Justin? Charles. In a bucket. Charles Cheese. On the moon. Mr Biscuits. See babies on BBC Two. Well done, Mr Biscuits. A zillion points and extra prizes. More fun than a jelly full of beans. Brand new jelly levels and buzz and tell. Weekdays from 7.25, see BBs on BBC Two. <laughs> Nina and the neurons are on their way next, but first, Bibotron has a sense test for me, haven't you, Beebs? Yes, Bibotron wants to test my sense of touch. I'm going to put my hand inside this box and 